Hey everyone, welcome back to MB's Pets and today I am going to be talking about how to start a hamster YouTube channel or uh, just small pets in general, how to make a good uh, hamster YouTube channel that other people will want to subscribe to. One of the number one things you have to look out for is that you are using proper care and uh, so your hamster cage is above the bare minimum of 450 square inches, your bedding is above uh, 6 inches, and your wheel is big enough. Um, you should also be supporting uh, very good hamster care so that when people get inspired by you, they are going out and getting the proper uh, sized um, items you need for your hamster and are not uh, getting all of the recommended stuff by the pet stores. Also, if you're creating any YouTube channel, uh, it is very good to have uh, good editing apps and um, good, uh, just good thumbnail images and editing apps and titles and all that just so that people will go and look at your channel. Um, an editing app I suggest for if you are starting off your YouTube channel on your phone or on your iPad or something. Um, a really good editing app that I use is actually called InShot and it is for Apple devices. I haven't checked to see if it's on uh, under other things that aren't Apple devices, but um, as of right now, if you have an Apple device, um, an InShot is a great app. That is what I used for most of my YouTube videos. So um, if you're filming on your phone, which uh, a lot of people can actually film on their phone and it looks really good. Um, so I do recommend that app, definitely. Also, if you're creating a small pet channel, um, it is important that you make a bunch of videos on really detailed topics. So not just videos on general hamster care, but other videos that are like wheel sizes and sand baths and um, all these different videos that relate to one topic. So when someone searches it up on YouTube, your video will come up because it is detailed to the specific thing they need. So um, that is one trick I use is just do very, very detailed, um, very detailed videos on specific topics. So if someone is struggling with how much bedding they should put in your hamster cage and you um, and they search it up, how much bedding should I put in my hamster cage, your video comes up right away because you made a specific video for how much bedding you need in your hamster's cage. So um, I hope I made that clear. Just uh, do little detailed things like uh, should I use a water bowl for my hamster and make an entire video on just that topic so that people look at it and they um, get they get the idea of should I use a water bowl. So um, very detailed topics that always seems to work with me. So um, that is a very good thing if you are starting off as a first time hamster YouTuber or small pet YouTuber. Also, when you have a pet YouTube channel, people want updates on your pets instead of just care videos maybe do a couple vlogs in between uh videos just so that people know that your pets are okay because um people are caring and they want to know if your hamsters are doing good so add in some fun videos and not just informational videos because uh that can sometimes get a little bit boring for people who are a long time subscriber um so just throw in a few vlogs. I love doing vlogs. They are one of my favorite uh, videos to make because you can literally just make it about anything. So um, yeah, that is something I would recommend is adding in vlog videos. Also, just keep in mind that these things take time. Um, I right now have 57 subscribers, I think. And I am very happy for every single one of you. Thank you so much. But um, you need to be very patient I started my YouTube channel about a year ago and um, I still have, uh, I'm not at like hundreds and hundreds of subscribers or thousands of subscribers and I started my YouTube channel a year ago so um, it does take time but keep in mind that eventually people will start finding you and you will get 
uh, more views and subscribers and you will get very popular so if that is uh, something you if you really want to make a hamster YouTube channel just keep in mind that these things do take time and um, it is uh, just a little bit of a process to get to where you want to be also an important thing for if you are starting your own hamster or small pet YouTube channel um, also a good thing is to upload quite often don't go over a week without any YouTube videos because that is not going to get you the subscribers you need so um just upload quite often it could be once a week it could be twice a week but just don't make it uh longer than a week people have to wait to get a new another youtube video i used to be on a schedule i used to be i think wednesday and saturday or wednesday and friday or something like that um i used to have a schedule and that got very, very overwhelming very, very quickly because you don't realize that you need to make a YouTube video until it's like Tuesday night and you need to upload a video on Wednesday and you're running around like crazy trying to find uh, ideas for a YouTube video and it just isn't working out. So um, just, I wouldn't recommend going on a specific schedule unless you are that type of person that likes being having a schedule. I would recommend not making your subscribers wait longer than a week for a new, another YouTube video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This um, is just a fun topic to see if any of my followers on Instagram or my subscribers to my YouTube channel, um, if they want to create their own hamster YouTube channel, I hope this video has helped and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. Look at how pretty Theodore looks in this lighting. Look at him, he's so pretty.